Hey guys, I device help here, and today I'm going to give you guys a second walkthrough of iOS 11. I have the uh, first video posted on my channel if you want to check it out. But there's so many features within iOS 11 that I wanted to do a part two to cover some more features. So let's begin. First, I want to talk about the volume HUD, the volume HUD uh, UI here. You can see the volume goes up and down, and it isn't present. Now, in my first part, I talked about how it was present on the home screen, but it appears that this is only uh, when you have system wide volume up. Uh, uh, did you're trying to adjust so you can see there it is present for the ringer but it is still in the center but it isn't present when you start playing some music and then you try putting the volume up or down uh, the UI here doesn't show the HUD on the screen so that's a total plus we also have a new media controls or media player for iOS you see here the UI elements you have the volume up at the top right where you can tap to mute completely as you can see right here interact with it very nice down here you have your controls start playing you have your airplay features on the bottom left you also have the new uh, redesign volume volume HUD right there it's not in the center when you're playing a video it just shows up on the top right which I really really do appreciate very nicely done there by Apple and then you have your scrubber here just as you would expect so very nice media player available now in iOS 11 as well now there's also new animations when you rise to wake your device or when you wake up your device in iOS 11 is more of a uh, waking up animation instead of a blink into action animation and I'll explain myself here so take a look at the device when it goes to sleep and when I bring it back up it's gonna look like it's waking up instead of just blinking into action so let's go ahead and do that did you see it Gonna do that again. This time I'm gonna run in slow motion so you guys can see it. Did you see that? Pretty cool stuff. So new animations and when you swipe up, you get all your notifications within iOS. Really different UI. I like it a lot, by the way. Uh, you can also, of course, swipe to the left for the widgets and then swipe for the right for the camera, as usual. Now when you swipe from the top, you take you get taken back to the lock screen elements here and to your uh, earlier notifications, as you can see there. I kind of like that idea uh, that you can go ahead and just swipe up for that. Now one thing I failed to notice on my first uh, walkthrough video is that there isn't any labels on the icons for the dock. That's a pretty cool idea as well because when you bring them up, boom, labels come back. You can bring any other icon and then the icons labels disappear. Uh, but then they come back, of course, when you bring them back to the home screen, uh, you see that the icon labels, boom, come back. But it is a nice clean look that Apple went with with no labels on the dock right there or the icons for the dock. A lot of you guys have sent this next one to me like a hundred times and that's going to be uh, under display accommodations, the smart invert, which I didn't get a chance to cover on my first walkthrough video. And it gives you sort of a dark mode theme to it. I think Apple is going to need to polish this a little better, but it does look very, very nice uh, here in settings. However, there's still, of course, being iOS 11 beta 1, some things to sort out. Uh, some of the images still show, show invert. Uh, within them and throughout the OS it just doesn't feel completely like dark mode a lot of people uh, think and feel like this is their dark mode and if you like it this way that I guess that's great but I still feel like there's some work to do in order to get it to feel like it's complete dark mode experience uh, instead of an invert color experience for iOS so some of the images here still show the invert colors not the actual natural colors that you would hope for with a dark theme or dark mode but nonetheless it is available there under display accommodations for a smarter invert option. I also wanted to talk about a file, the new application from Apple that you get with iOS 11. It's going to help you manage files between your iOS devices, whether it's in the cloud or physical files. Now, this is not like uh, on jailbroken devices, iFile, where you get root access to the device and you can mess around with all the file systems. Uh, no, this is just for files that you have locally on device or on the cloud, not the operating system itself. You have your recent uh, files that you've been working with. You have your search. You also have your browser options there for the, the bottom where you can browse through the cloud on device recently deleted you have favorites and tags you also have a universal search so let's say I'm in the cloud here I worked on a file or, or something at home and it's in my iCloud I can tap and hold it'll show up on my iOS device and then uh, the new drag and drop feature allows me to go to locations here and drag it to any particular location here uh, make a new tag for it and I'm sure Apple will improve upon this in the, in the future I can just drop it there now. It's going to be under the yellow tags. Also, additional tags are available as well. But a very nice file manager for iOS 11 file, the new application from Apple. 
And one of my favorite features of iOS 11, believe it or not, is screen recorder. You have a screen recorder now that you can add to the control center toggles when you go to settings and add it to your control center extensions. So right here you have all your extensions where you can remove and add. So all you have to do is just simply add it and it'll be added to your control center just like that. And now all you have to do is just tap on the screen recorder and it'll start recording the screen just like that uh, but what if I want to change the audio format of this screen recorder where all you have to do is 3d touch on it just like this and it's give you the options here for a microphone so you can choose the microphone built in or if you don't tap on the microphone section there it will just record the system wide audio when you press to record very easy so screen recorder uh, for iOS 11 is also one of my favorite features oh and by the way you can move multiple icons in case you didn't see my video on how to do this you can go into wiggle mode and start tapping on as many icons as you want as you have your finger on the main icon that you started with and then you can just move multiple icons all at once throughout iOS if you wish to do so so that's also a neat option uh, within iOS 11 that wasn't p possible before of course uh, right here under the general background app on refresh you now have a new option that allows you to do this uh, for all apps on Wi-Fi and the data network but you can choose if you only wanted to do it over the Wi-Fi so you don't go over your limit for your data. So these applications are constantly are running in the background and refreshing. But you can go ahead and turn that off completely so they don't refresh in the background. Or you can choose for them to do that only while you're connected to Wi-Fi for saving a data. That's very important for those of you who are on a tiered data plan. Press and hold for Siri is now a new option under the Siri options and settings. And Siri just got a whole lot nicer. The voice is a lot smoother. Hello Siri. Good morning, Miguel. It's a more natural voice. You also have a button here to tap and edit the uh, text, as you can see there, for Siri. And it's just a lot nicer to use Siri now. The voice is just more welcoming. When you take a live photo in iOS 11, you now have a new option, or new options. As you can see here, you can swipe up and see live photo effects, people, and locations. So just swipe up and you can see new effects here. And you have all these new effects that you can choose from. For your live photo, you can see there, a nice one. Let me go back here and show you the other one. I'm still getting used to how to use this. There we go. There's another one here. And it's really cool stuff. It happens in real time. You also have the ability, that one's called bounce, long exposure. And then we have a few more here. We have the loop. So we have all three of those. And now you also have the option to edit your live photo. And when you edit your live photo, you can remove the audio if you wish to do so. Very cool options there for live photos. It got a whole lot more interactive in iOS 11. I also want to talk about messages and some of the new things within it. You can swipe to the left here and click on hide a alert or delete of course you won't be receiving any more notifications if you choose to hide the alerts right here the UI uh, the menus and sub menus down here are very nicely laid out I like this a lot more than what it was before you have your buttons here three buttons to categorize it and change it you have the app store here you can see new things but relatively very similar to uh, before uh, now you can replay effects as well you can see that I send a spotlight effect which is one of the new effects within iOS 11 and iOS 11 messages application kept all the great things of iOS 10 and then some more so I really like it a lot and I want to go ahead and share one more with you guys that's gonna be the keyboard the keyboard within iOS now if you uh, 3d touch here you now have the ability for one hand the keyboard take it to the left here or take move it over to the right one hand to use remember how this was leaked a few weeks or a few months back well there it is and then you can also go back to your keyboard settings directly from the keyboard uh, there's a few things that uh, aren't working properly of course being the first beta but you can see there for bigger devices if you have a, a smaller hand uh, you can still use one-handed by using these new options and of course all your emojis and things are still there so I hope you guys enjoy this second walkthrough of iOS 11 much more videos coming your way of course be sure to stay tuned as I learn more of the OS I'll be sharing it with you guys be sure to consider to subscribe if you enjoy the video it's been a device help I hope you guys have a great day and I see you real soon peace